Hey guys, I'm heading to the library today to waste some time. I usually don't go here, at least not since I've had my van, because it's a pain in the butt to park an RV anywhere downtown. But uh, now that I uh, have the RV in the shop, again, this time it's at Coombs RV, so i um, replacing the water heater. Coombs has always taken great care of my RV. They're, they're awesome down there. They'll, they're going to give me a call when everything's uh, done up. And uh, I appreciate all of the uh, mechanical comments that people left on the last video about the solenoid. Uh, you guys were all right. It was uh, a solenoid problem, not an ignition problem. But uh, it's still a freak of nature. He had it uh, all day for seven hours and tried three different solenoids. And throughout the entire day, all three of those new solenoids all failed. Same problem. Uh, it just gets stuck. So at this point, they're, they're really not sure. I mean, they only charged me for 30 minutes of diagnosing, which still, I mean, I, I know they spent a lot more time than that. So they're still being nice to me, but uh, at the end of the day, yesterday, nothing got accomplished. And uh, they have now called me back this morning and they want the RV back tomorrow, Friday, because they're gonna try some other stuff. Basically what they think it is is like, there's just too many amps. There's too much power going to that solenoid. It's not just a normal 12 volt, whatever the amps are supposed to be. Something is like way too much amps. And so, um, I mean, I took the negative battery cable off last night and uh, it, it wouldn't reset, like it physically wouldn't reset. I, I, I would come close to putting it back on the battery terminal and it just like magnet to the thing and started eating away parts of the post. It literally would just not reset until I got a hammer out there and started beating on the thing. Somebody actually gave me that tip on YouTube. Thank you, that worked. I was just tapping it with a hammer and it worked great. So, I, I don't know, it's really frustrating and embarrassing. I brought the RV into Coombs and I had to tell them about that. I'm like, yeah, when you start this up and try to take it back into your back spot, this might happen. Here's what you gotta do. <laughs> eh, what are you gonna do? It happens. So, um, anyway, I will keep you guys all uh, updated on any fixes that they come up with here. Maybe maybe in, in the meantime just install a kill switch or something on it so I don't eat the starter alive. But uh, Anyway, yeah, I'm here at uh, Olympia Timberland Library. I'm gonna find a nice place to watch a DVD. Well, first I'm gonna edit and upload this video. So, And then uh, just relax until I get a phone call. Alright, talk to you guys later. Hey, it's Eric along with Jax. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get the latest updates and feel free to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.